Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again in the previous episode. We took some more cities, mainly up the north, but we also lost a couple around here as well. But we've taken those back, but I don't think it's going to be for long because as you can see, there is a land ship or maybe multiples heading towards here. And that's a problem because we are still building the uh, we're still building the defences there. So what we want to do is want to try and take hold of that. If we can't uh, well, keep hold of it, then we'll take it back uh, quite promptly, hopefully. Uh, we might smash up some cultists as well because... Because they are in the way and we really do want to take Dyn here. So let's just unpause it and we'll see if I'm going to get there in time. It doesn't look like that is going to be the case. So they're just going to go there straight away and it's uncontested but then I'll land with whatever I've got here. And as you can see it's uh, one little mini tank um, against the uh, Kingdom class. Which will actually move further down because, well why not. And then uh, also against the... Against the ship of doom otherwise known as the uh, the bot fly so we'll start that fight off and as you can see straight away they are firing over towards my uh, the kingdom class which is taking out some people and for whatever reason they're not moving even though the sails there why are they not going forward is the sail damaged if the sail is damaged then I am fairly screwed although there's a lot of shots coming from here as well good grief the rockets are really really powerful I'm thinking of making a, a fairly decent rocket ship but um We'll have to see how that one goes. Can we not order that? It's uh, not going to move. No, it's just not going to move at all because the sail has uh, been damaged, which is a problem. However, we are managing to uh, do a fair bit of damage on this vessel now. Oh, actually, what's happened there is they've uh, actually lost their... Oh, they've got a flamer. They've lost their rear... Their rear cannon there, so that's pretty good. So all I'm going to do is just keep firing away, and it looks like, yes, they've um, self-destructed. <laughs> self However, they are still in the fight. I'm going to move down. Oh, that's a victory there. So I'm going to move straight... Do I want to move back over? Um, well, we'll probably stay where we are for now. We'll build defences, and uh, we'll be building a dark cube once we have enough money. So we'll just wait a little bit of time until we get that. So yeah, perhaps a rocket ship is the way to go. In terms of our technology, we do have flamethrowers, we do have... Uh, sorry, we do have rockets, we don't have flamethrowers yet, but we could uh, go for that if we, if we wanted to. Um, we're currently working on flamethrowers now. So yeah, I think making a rocket ship would probably be the way to go. So we'll go over to defences once we've got a little bit more cash and then we know that we'll be able to build that. So we'll go build building and a dark cube and then we'll place that right at the back there like so. Which will take a little bit of time to make but um, we do definitely need some sort of defence there. So uh, that is now... Not built because we've got flamethrowers here, so aerial torpedoes, yes, why not? And then uh, we do have the favourite one. We're going to move back to uh, generic in here and we want to repair these things. So we'll say we will have a, um, a repair. And the Kingdom class is actually fine. However, down the bottom here you can see these are sweeping up. So the other empire that he was, uh, that Al, Al Ikol has now been taken over. And <laughs> on the left, this is all one big uh, area as well. Starting in the center has not been very kind, and we've got pirates now as well, so we probably need to deal with that. So let's just design a ship, and we want to design something that can bombard from long range. But quite frankly, I really, really am interested in uh, perhaps making, perhaps making a torpedo ship. No, no, we probably need to make a ground ship here. So let's go to uh, design land ship. We're actually going to open a design, and we'll open up a very very basic design that we've uh, had with some sort of success with previously ah there it is the mini tet so it's like a mini tetra <laughs> at least that was the idea and obviously we are going to get rid of the huge cannon on the top because we just don't have access to that uh, so we're going to get rid of some of these and all of these sections here we will put some extra bits on but this will do us for now so it is not overly efficient or do i want to redesign it completely I really like to put a massive rocket on it. Oh, let's just do that. Let's just have a massive, uh, a massive rocket uh, <laughs> ship of some kind. Because why not? So we'll go for a. What sort of hull do you want to go for? I'm not sure. Actually, do we have axe? Can we even make it move? Uh, that's a problem. I don't think I have the technology to make it move. Where is it? Ah, yes, Trax is there. I can't even make anything that does that. That's a problem. Um. Okay. So, I'm gonna design 
a ship then. We need something we can bombard with. And something quite fast as well. Something like quite reactionary. Now we could if we wanted to have some marines do a boarding vessel. Uh, I mean that would work. Say double marines. But these ones just have to jump and board the defences rather than anything else. Or do you want to go with rockets? Um, a fast reactionary vessel would be good. We do have the reacting tin. We've had success with that. Let's try something like this then. It what needs to be quite cheap. Probably a thousand or less. Ideally probably uh, six to eight hundred. But we'll see how we get on with that one. So propulsion. We'll go with something that's going to give us a lot of speed. So we'll go with probably a large propeller. Which will give us <laughs> a decent amount of speed. In terms of staying off the ground, we'll go with probably, can we get away with a small suspendium chamber? 116 meter service ceiling isn't terrible. It isn't terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. We'll move those along like so, and we will have probably a, well, resources. We've got a coal store. I think we're just going to have a, a small coal store there. And a small ammo store just above it, like so. Uh, 84 meter service ceiling again, not too bad, because um, this is going to be this is going to be boarding defences, so it's okay. At least I hope it's going to be. It's 500 as well, so it's quite cheap. In terms of crew, minimum crew is three, but it's going to go up a little bit because we do need some other stuff. So we'll go with some command and crew. I want to say quarters? Quarters go in. Uh, recommended crew six, and we've got. Um, oh, we've got crew 12 recommended is 6, so that's fine. And considering we're going to put a bridge in because we want to be able to order it quite fast, then that's okay. We'll then put in some weapons on the front. Oh, I say weapons, we'll put a weapon probably. Um, probably the cheapest one we can find. Oh, there's a dorsal turret. <laughs> that would be interesting uh, and also quite useless. We could put a grand ram on the front. Oh, no, it's far too heavy. A uh, giant flamethrower? No, what about it? Oh, an actual flamethrower on the front would be, would be pretty good. Yep, yeah. and we need more supply hatches, which we will go for in basic. And supply hatch should hopefully fix the problem. Now we need one more. Um, no, we're going to put them at the front like so because you... Uh, Actually, that should probably do it. The reason you have them at the front is so you can then get out. And it does look like a bit of a brick, but that's not too bad. Um, okay, there we go. That's all right. So in terms of shapes, we want to change it up a little bit. We'll have a, a medium prow. Mm, no, it's far too heavy. Looks like a bit of a tug. <laughs> it's also not going to be able to uh, fly much at all because it's, I mean, look at it, 41 meter service here. We're going to be scraping the ground. We won't even be able to get over some trees if we're unlucky. So perhaps if we go for um, a suspendium dust tank or a large, oh, look at the state of that. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bit mad, wouldn't it? Um, a dust end cap? <laughs> Put a dust end cap on it. Um, perhaps not. Well, it's not a terrible idea. We just have to move the cannon up. Or down, actually. We could put it there. We don't have access to it. But oh, that wouldn't work either. Like that. And then that gives us the lift we need. And we just need a corridor there and then we have access to that that could work actually that could work i mean as always we're just gonna we're gonna try it and see what happens uh, get a little bit of a bit of an edge on there and some lights maybe does that make it expensive not much not much more expensive so that'll be fine in terms of armour, it really doesn't matter, so we'll stick with that one. Uh, we're going to paint it. We'll paint it in a... I don't know. Probably red. 
And then we'll have a, a black stripe through it. That's quite good. We'll do that. Hmm. That's the wrong colour. Yeah, just have the stripes like that. Let's get like a flag now. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's fine. Uh, do you want a nameplate on it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yes, but we'll put a wooden one on, I think. And... Um, we've got a kingdom class. What else do we want? Um... I'll have a charger class. Okay, so we'll save that. Save the design. And we'll build it, actually, because we've got enough to build just the one, though. And a fire caused a foreign agent has destroyed the vigilant rampart at Stormness. What? What, what? Oh, well, we've still got th some defences there. But looks like this guy's getting attacked. Oh no, his village is getting attacked. So, build land ship again. Uh, build a ship. We've got a kingdom. Oh, we've got the charger. I think we're going to go with the charger again. And we're going to try that out in anger probably over here. Looks like this guy's taken up most of the uh, areas here. We're going to send a... But there's pirates coming to storm this. That's a problem. We might actually attack the pirates. That might be an interesting one. So this is pirates versus me. They've got a very small ship and I've got all of that. So I'm not particularly worried, quite honestly. So fire's going out there. Um, oh, you can see the borders, look. They're all hanging off the side. <laughs> That's fine. So we'll put all of these on aimed fire. So they won't fire as fast, but hopefully they will be able to uh, get some good shots. We'll probably speed up a little bit because... Uh, yeah, that's uh, going down, I think. Are they running away? Oh, no. They've actually dropped off some of their crew. And, um... <laughs> well, he's... <laughs> he's making the charge. <laughs> All by himself. Really? Raid complete. Yeah. Uh, it's been slightly looted. Minus 20% income. That's <laughs> That didn't last long. Um, a view city over here. They've got three defences. I want to see what they had there, but all that happened is this went to the dragons and the dragons defeated them. Um, what have we got over in the pirates? Um, I don't know, but I, can I defeat them? With these, I probably could. Let's go and attack the pirates because it's minus 20% city income and if you destroy the pirates, you do get a, a bonus as well, and I know that that is damage. So here we are. This is versus the pirates, and oh, they've actually got a fairly big fleet. That's, a, that's an issue, but if I take their fort then we might be all right. So these have a terrible service ceiling, but anyway, we're going to get them charging forward. We will start the fight. Obviously, the bomber will immediately move up and to, say, there. These ones are going to move as fast as possible over to there. And you can see they'll charge. Whoa, they're really quick. And because we have... Oh, this is great. Because we have the... Because we have the bridges on, you can see we can issue uh, commands quite quick. So those, I will say, you can um, board ship that one. This one, I'm going to actually move and flip it round like so. Um, and all that happens, I think we crashed into something. I'll just say board then. So board. So they're all capturing. Yes, we've captured it. Excellent. So we'll turn that round. There's the flames. Flame effects are nice these days. Wow, okay. There's the bombing. There's the shots. Yeah, they're getting close, and uh, they're probably not going to like that. Their ships are really falling out of the sky, aren't they? Is that coming to ram me? Uh, it might have been, but they're getting shot. I'm actually going to back up because I don't want to get boarded. So, taking control of that has helped out. And that's a win. That helped out a lot because we had 
essentially uh, three cannons firing away there. So that's a victory, and we've gained four grand for that. That's exactly what we wanted. So build ship. Charger. Six of them. <laughs> I'm not confident in their abilities, but I'm, um, I'm I'm putting a lot of faith into it, into them. Uh, repair that. And repair that. So we'll max that out while they build, and it looks like I'm getting attacked over here. They've got a, it looks like a, a flamethrower of some kind. Um, and, oh, and yes, also a rocket boat of uh, another type as well. I sadly don't have much. As you can see, I've just got this thing. So... I'll put that on aimed fire, and hopefully we'll just be able to outlast it. At the end of the day, they're firing big rockets, and they're quite far away. I'm going to say target that one at the bottom. All it takes, though, is one rocket to hit this thing, and uh, it probably won't last long. There's all the rockets going out. Most of them missing, which is good. But like I said, it only takes one or two to hit, and then we're going to be in some bother. So, you can see the damage on this thing. They are taking a fair amount of it. We are actually... Running out of ammo. We've only got 20 ammo left. Oh, yeah, so we're, we're gonna lose because we just don't have enough ammo and that's very very polluting isn't it? <laughs> it's also not moving at all. So they're probably gonna win this. Uh, yeah, we're out of ammo, so That's pretty much it. So I could flee But I really have no Now I was gonna say no reason to do it just wait until the time's out and they're gonna apparently run off I'm not going to question that. Build building. Dark cube. We're going to put another one down there. I guess because they couldn't destroy it, they did that. Uh, they're also attacking Stormness as well, but I'm, I've got three three things there, so I'm not too bothered. Uh, so we'll start the fight again, and it's just this airship. So we'll just put those on aimed fire. The problem we have, really, is that, quite frankly, this, we're surrounded by so many people that we're <laughs> getting hit from all sides. We'll spend a lot of our time doing this. That's why I want to take over another city so we can build some more ships and attack a bit better. So that's just going to sit there and get shot because it's got no real decent place to go. I like the way there's different armor sections. So they've armored up this bit here, which is obviously where the weapons are. And then the suspendium chamber and... My mistake. Where the suspendium chamber was was armored up, which obviously didn't help it much because uh, it just split in twin. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just a case now of finishing off this front bit. If we hit the weapon, we've already hit it a couple of times with some holes in it. we probably get some good penetrating and hopefully, uh, good. yeah, we'll get good penetration and then it means it'll probably go up. They do have water still there. One's out of ammo as well. That really doesn't have much ammo at all. After putting that gun on the top, yeah, I think we need to redesign that and put some more ammo on it. And at the moment, we're just using rifles. You can follow the action. Gives your overall view of it, but... I wonder how long it's going to take to uh, remove this. I mean, at the end of the day, this is lost. This thing here is destroyed because it can't fly, so it's, it's just going to be out of action. Sorry, it's not it's not currently out of action. The back end is defeated, but... Win or, lo win or lose, this thing is destroyed because it can't fly. The problem is there's just the sheer amount of shots that we have to fire at it with rifles. And this thing being out of ammo, what I'm probably going to do is lift it up and put another ammo store in there. We'll redesign it. As you can see, we are chipping away at it. It's just it's on max speed and it's going to take forever to do. <laughs> uh, fog. Units inside the fog banks are harder to hit. Well, we're all in the fog bank now. You can hear it clunking on the armor there. And you can see shots whizzing past now and again. And yeah, just <laughs> damage. Yeah, they just take, it's probably just going to take the crew out more than any. Uh, Rather than anything else. I don't think we're going to get anything vital. Although you never know. I don't know where the ammo... No, that's the ammo store there. That'll be a 3 by 2 ammo store. And then you've got the flamer at the front there. And, oh, the back end's just blown up. I'm guessing that's where the coal used to be. Because that's their propeller. And what was left there. And then they had the suspendium chambers there. So I'm guessing that's where the coal was. Unless there's a bit of coal here that I can't see. 
That's the bridge there. Yeah, there we go. Snow classes are mobile, so it is a Vic and a Terry. And then straight away, another fight over here with, oh, the same sort of thing. So, again, we're just going to have to max speed out and let them crack on. So, we've already got that there, and, oh. Yeah, they are hitting us. See, this is being repaired now. I can hear damage getting applied on this one. It's mounting up. I don't know why it doesn't get closer, actually. I would have thought getting closer for this would uh, be better for it. But we're going to run out of ammo again, I guess. But we do a lot of damage. I'm guessing they're losing more resources by trying to attack me. That I'm losing from repairing a couple of different bits and pieces. But hopefully they'll just flee again. Because they probably don't have much ammo either. Considering they're not firing, then yeah, that's probably what's happened there. Okay, so. Looks like another... Good grief. They're attacking the cultists. Yes, they are. Looks like another faction has been formed. So anyway, um, we managed to, well, we've got we've currently got three of these uh, vessels, which are good. We're building another, how many more? One, two, three, uh, three more, so we're going to have six in total, we'll repair the others. Actually, the others might even be, oh, might have eight in total then, interesting. Uh, if we go to View City here, you can see they've got nothing extra. So this is what we want to attack, it's what we were going to attack um, before we got to assault from everywhere. The problem, obviously, is that we've got... Um, these guys here, they, they, they don't have a fight. They, 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 are, they pretty much just have... Well, they've got something down the south there, but um, I'm just hoping they don't come my way. There's only one road in down here, so that's not too bad. Um, but we really need to take out green, get Dane, and then we'll go down and uh, hopefully get this. It's just the position we're in is uh, really, really difficult. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll see how it goes. Next episode, we'll do our main attack there, unless we get um, assaulted from uh, elsewhere, which, as you can see, uh, the cults are getting attacked there, but they're, they're moving around. Um, looks like Stormness has just lost uh, one of its uh, defences as well, and we're going to get attacked there again. Yeah, so we're just going to keep getting assaulted all the time. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Next episode will hopefully take time, but we'll see how that one goes. Uh, it looks like the charges, though, they are quite decent. We might just use what we've got now and uh, go for it, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Or I could attack these guys. I'm not sure. What do you think about that one? Do you reckon we should take some of the cities off here? Because they've got one, two, three um, forces. Three sets of forces. So maybe that's the way to go. I still think taking this. Let me know what you think, and we will go from there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.